Okay, this video shows how to properly place images and text to get them to line up. Um, as you see, we look here at this page and the images are lining up to the left and then we've got a block of text and then we've got another image and another block of text. But when we look at the code, the source code, we see that we have the image and then we have all of these empty paragraphs and what that shows us is that we're using empty paragraphs to push this text down and there you can see that blue spot is all those empty paragraphs and it's pushing that text down below that image what's going on there is that this image is floated to the left instead of having no alignment or a center alignment to fix this what we need to do first is go ahead and just get rid of all of these empty paragraphs and we need to grab this and you'll see right there it's align left we click that and we have an align none and you see that without anything there it puts the text below it and we'll come to this picture here, same thing. We'll click on that to remove the line left. And now you see all the empty space below it, so we get rid of all that. Same thing here. Take that out and then get rid of all of the uh, padding that we put in. And then this image here, same thing. Take off the alignment. Take off the alignment from this image. Get rid of all that extra space. And update. And we come. And we come back to it and we'll refresh that page. And oh no, I got it. And so now we don't have any of that extra spacing. All we have is the image and the text, but the images have no alignment to them so that they don't cause the text to want to try to float up next to it. And the other thing that you can do here is instead of doing no alignment, you can take the image and you can put a center alignment on it and that will also push the text to the bottom and the top of the image instead of having it next to it. But if you put a, a right alignment, as you can see, it floats everything to the left of it. So take that off and you've got it left aligned on the page, but with, uh, without the text floating, floating up next to it. And then, so for what you're wanting to do primarily is you either want to center align or no align. Make sure that all three of these boxes are light. None of them is darkened in like that. And that will correct the um, correct the spacing and correct the uh, problem with having to add all kinds of extra padding into an image. A lot of times when you are inserting images in WordPress, it will automatically place it in center alignment. And the way to look at that right at the beginning to get things where the way you want it is when you first upload an image, you'll have this display here. And when you upload it, you'll have, see this one, auto, this one is set to a line left automatically. And what you want to do is just click none or center unless if you want the text floating next to it, if you've got a big block of text and you've got a smaller image, it'll look good if you float it in that paragraph and then you can use left or right alignment. But primarily for Amy's blog here, the way that she does her writing, she's got small pieces of uh, text and large images. And the best thing to do there is either to do no alignment 
or to do center alignment. And I'd say probably no alignment if you've got a whole bunch of pictures and center alignment if you've just got a couple or just go with center alignment altogether. And I'm really going to suggest that Amy switches all of her images to center alignment. Uh, it just the images just are going to look better on the blog if they're centered on the column instead of flush to the left. And that's all it takes to line up your images without having to put a bunch of empty text that nobody can see into the blog posts.